In Cygnus Track, the concept of an alert is an important message that presents itself to you when a significant event has occurred with one of your tracking devices, say a vehicle crash with airbag deployment or the driver pressing the device's panic button. Using the device simulator, you can simulate these special events by attaching a device triggered alert to any location message in your mock session. Uh, if you've watched the video on configuring message parameters in the device simulator, then you already know how to send simple location messages to Cygnus Track. To attach a device triggered alert to any location message, uh, just click the Add button down here, and a new dialog will pop up that allows you to select the alerts that will be triggered. The box on the left contains a list of all the alert events that are supported by your Cygnus Track system. Uh, if you don't see the alert event that you want to trigger, no problem. Just get in contact with your Cygnus Track account rep and ask them about adding a new alert for you. Uh, but as an example, let's demonstrate what happens if an airbag deployment alert gets triggered. Locate the airbag alert in the list, click to select it, and now click on the right arrow button here in the middle. And this essentially attaches the airbag alert to your location message, so it'll be uh, transmitted along with the simulated location information to your Cygnus Track account. Um, you can also attach more than one alert at a time if you want to. Uh, when you're done, you would just click the Save button to dismiss that dialog. And now, once you have the location on your map that you want to report um, and your device triggered alerts all set up, go ahead and click Send Message. Now, if you log in to your Cygnus Track Web Portal account, head on over to the tracking screen. And uh, the first thing that will happen is that you'll get an alert indicating that there's been an airbag deployment. Now this particular type of alert requires an acknowledgement because it's uh, of its serious nature. Uh, you'll also notice that the alert over here has highlighted that the device that you were just working on. If you click on um, the zoom button, you'll see the last, uh, that location point that you tracked and um, if you click on that location point, you'll see that there was an alert generated here. Uh, the alert subject, which was airbag deployment. Uh, so that indicates that the alert was triggered. And if you click on the alert icon up here on the session, session list, you'll see in the alert viewer the details of the alert, the exact date that it was thrown, as well as the date and time on which the alert was cleared um, when you or another Cygnus Track Web Portal user responded to that pop-up. And you can see the message that I typed in, which was just OK in this case. Uh, because you can configure Cygnus Track's alert notifications at a very detailed level, uh, the device simulator offers this excellent way to quickly and easily test your alert configuration until you have the notifications working exactly as you want them. Uh, this should give you an idea of how the device simulator can be used to simulate special alert conditions uh, like vehicle collisions, overspeed alerts, and many other things.